Okay, I will talk a little bit more about um, the difference between the pre and post uh, sections of the recording process uh, in a moment when we're talking about the uh, calibrated noise levels of the K um, uh, system. Um, I'm going to show you my setup here. I want to let you know beforehand that I have already done the calibration on uh, my system, so I'm actually not going to make any adjustments here, but I will tell you the adjustments that you need, you need to make um, as uh, we come to that part uh, of this, the procedure here as I'm showing you. Um, the, uh, I have a computer back in the closet, back there, that is uh, doing all of my processing digitally. A microphone, and we're going to take also a, um, uh, a sound pressure level here on my tablet uh, computer. Um, there is an Android, or maybe an iPad, if you have an iPad, uh, application that will uh, take a, a sound pressure level measurement in dB um, that we're going to use right there. We're going to use the microphone. This is a preamp. Preamp out into the hardware mixer, channel 3, and then main out uh, to my monitors. I have a 12-inch sub and the HR824 from Mackie. Um, and so the basic idea here is that we're going to take a calibrated noise level uh, at, and we're just going to just let it come out of the speakers and we're, we're going to adjust the monitor levels to 83 dB here at the listening position. 83 dB is the predetermined standard for zero um, on the K level monitoring system. So um, we're, I'm going to initiate the, the noise source, and you're going to hear that, and then I'm going to I'm going to show you back around on the other side where those adjustments need to be made in order to uh, take the 83 or, or, or achieve 83 dB here at the listening position. Here comes the uh, noise. And I want to show you that that noise is at zero. And here, at this position, Hold on. There we are. And the adjustment that needs to be made at this point is back here behind uh, at the uh, monitors themselves. This is uh, the volume control of this, uh, the, the left channel. Um, I also want to note that there are other adjustments that can be made here on the back. And sometimes I like to, when I'm, for my own listening purposes, I like to use the frequency, uh, redu reduce uh, the high frequencies by uh, 2 dB, so minus 2 on the high freaks, and I do a, a low cut um, in order to compensate for the subwoofer. Now the problem with this is, as I had said before, that everything is opposite on this side. So if I, even though I like to listen to it at, at a minus 2 dB on the high freaks, if I leave that at minus 2 during my recording and producing process, I'm going to have to compensate for that by boosting my uh, channel uh, fader levels um, in the audio workstation by 2 dB in order to compensate for that. But then, when s someone plays that back on their, in their car, or in their system, then it's 2 dB too loud on the high frequencies. So you definitely need to make sure that you are listening to flat. You have a, a flat level here, or if you make any adjustments, you need to make it opposite of what you, you want to achieve. Again, so if you, for example, want to create a brighter sounding uh, recording, you actually need to take and, and roll off 2 dB 
off of the high freaks, and that will cause you to make a brighter uh, mix, right? Because it's opposite. It works oppositely. So the deal is that um, if, I, if I needed to make an adjustment there, I would make an adjustment at the back of the monitors. Um, this is going to output zero. It's going to always say zero. What I'm, it's outputting zero, that sound level, and I just need to make sure that the actual sound level coming out right here is zero. So what we're doing is we're matching that zero to this zero. That is the essential part of this process, that you are now calibrated at K20. You now have a calibrated listening level for if you wanted to uh, monitor at, uh, or, or mix uh, for a theater or a uh, recording situation or a very quiet recording. So I have just finished getting a calibrated level of 83 dB right here at the listening position by getting a, an output, uh, calibrated noise output, uh, and then adjusting the monitors for 83 dB at the listening position. What I'm going to do now is adjust the hardware input uh, of the microphone in order to get a zero dB on the uh, monitoring uh, on the input. And although, again, like I said, it's already, uh, I did this beforehand, I'm going to show you that what that zero looks like. And again, you're going to make the adjustment at the microphone input. So we already have zero here. We just need to make sure that we get a zero back on the input now. Now I'm going to switch between the K20, K12, and K14 um, uh, noise levels and show you what the difference looks like on our in monitor, input monitor. We're at K20 right now, and that K20 again is at 59, right? Turn it back on. So I'm going to leave it at K14, and you're going to see that we are now uh, 6 dB too hot on the input monitor. And then uh, when we will use that to adjust the volume on our monitors, the hardware volume, down 6 dB again, just as we did before. Now I have a calibrated level for mixing and mastering pop records using the K14 metering system. Um, what, again, what I've done is I've used a higher noise source, and I've mon uh, used this as a uh, leveling monitor, and I've adjusted my monitors down 6 dB. Um, you'll notice that I did that adjustment at uh, the mixer instead of the monitors themselves. Um, 
This is because you're going to sometimes want to be able to switch between the, these things, and the only thing that's essential to know, the only reason that you're doing any of this, is so that you know what your, what your calibrated level, listening level is. So, whereas before, using the K20 noise source, my master vault theater level was at 59, I'm now at 50. I hope you can see that, okay? So if I want to mix and master a pop record, I need to fire up my workstation and my hardware at a main output volume of 50% on this mixer, and my levels will be uh, perfect. And I, it will, uh, like I was explaining before, no more guessing games. Um, you can actually use the K12 noise source, which is a little bit louder, and then dial it down even more if you wish to make your recordings even louder. Um, but it's not necessary. I recommend staying quiet because the person that's listening to your recording can always turn it up, but they can never turn it back down. Um, so I recommend uh, that you use K14 and do this process. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, or if there are any uh, specifics about your setup that you need help with. I know not everybody has a DB uh, meter um, or an Android tablet or anything like that. So if you have questions uh, or need recommendations, please let me know. Thank you.